guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you haven't missed my swatch party videos too much. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. I did get the Makeup Monsters Cosmetics Dragon Child Palette. I did pick this up on pre-order. It's not a brand I've owned anything from before, so I wanted to get it because you guys know I have an obsession with trying out as many indie brands as I can. So without further blabbering, let's get into this palette. It is so, so stunning. It has that dragon vibe on the front here, like that reptile vibe. It says Dragon Child Makeup Monster Cosmetics. On the inside here, there's a beautiful picture of like a fairy with a dragon and it says, if you want to conquer the world, you best have dragons. And it says George R.R. R. Martin, A Dance with Dragons. And here is what the palette looks like. Oh my goodness. It is definitely not something that <laughs> I have ever seen before in my collection. It also does say this is made with love in Newman Lake, Washington. Zip code is 99025. Cruelty free and vegan brand. So very, very cool. On the back here is all of the ingredients. I'm just trying to see if the shelf life is listed. I don't see it right off the top here, but it says the net weight is 12 shadows times 1.8 grams I believe oh it expires in six months holy shit I bet I get to using this bad boy <laughs> okay let's go ahead and swatch so I'm gonna swatch obviously like this away so we have the shade lucky which is one of the shimmer shades oh my god myth or legend holy shit dragon child which is like a pretty pistachio color and then sleeping dragon which is a beautiful green shade go ahead and swatch right here. I'm just gonna turn my hand. Oh, I just swatched this upside down. Fuck me. So there are the first four shades of this palette. Lucky is a beautiful like champagne with like a hint of like duochrome pink. And the rest are all matte shades, but they look to be quite pigmented. It'll be interesting to see how they blend. Again, I haven't tried this palette yet on my eyeballs. So it looks like it it stains quite a bit, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna need a wet wipe for this situation later. I'll keep you guys posted, but that was pretty hard to get off. So, the next shade is called Stone Drake, which is a beautiful purple, like a cool tone purple. We have Firefly, which is a shimmery yellow, and then we have Flaming Tongue, which is a beautiful, like, earthy toned red orange, and then we have Dragon Ride. Oh my gosh. So I actually was not into blues like this on my skin tone, but lately, lately I've been doing some things <laughs> with my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you see how that blue swatched? Holy guacamole. Okay guys, I'm gonna switch hands to swatch the last rose. We have Smoke em Out, which is a beautiful gray. We have Cave Dweller, which is a navy shade. W-Y-R-M, not really sure what that stands for, so let's Google that. And then Mother Dragon, which is a beautiful brown. Ooh, wow, these swatch really beautifully. So there is the last row. Honestly, guys, I don't have anything like this in my collection, which is what attracted me to this palette. Am I terrified? Yes, because this could totally backfire and I spent good money on it. But here are all the swatches from the Makeup Monster Cosmetics Dragon Child, sorry, Dragon Child Palette. So freaking gorgeous. And I believe this is an indie makeup brand and also a women owned makeup brand as well. The owner of this company looks so, so sweet. I've seen some pictures of her on the company Instagram page and, and she's adorable. So super pumped to support a women owned business. And I will report back on these eyeshadows to you guys soon. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. If you want to see more swatch videos, I have a whole swatches playlist. You guys can just sit there and just watch it for like a day because there's a lot of swatch parties that I've done on my channel. So definitely go ahead and check it out. I will link it at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.